Hi, this is Ben Simon from Media Brian TV, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a Premiere Pro tutorial peephole effect. So stay tuned. So, in my film Banana Pearl, if you haven't watched it, you should watch that first. So, I did a peephole effect, as in a guy putting his eye up to a peephole and looking through it, and I wanted to sort of simulate the feeling of actually looking through a peephole, and this is how I did it. Uh, so, here's the shot, and then I'll talk you through in Premiere. Okay, so I've got a shot of a peephole that I took. So you need to bring that into Photoshop and cut a hole out in the center and export it as a transparent PNG. And I've also got this shot of uh, some people coming up the stairs shot on a very wide angle lens. The still of the peephole, I've got sharp focus at the beginning. And then as I move forward, I'm then showing that to be out of focus and the shot at the end of the peephole to be in focus. So basically, if we look at now the peephole shot, uh, it's just a static shot. And all I'm doing is I'm zooming in on that shot, uh, which I've animated over here. And then I'm actually going from uh, completely sharp focus to blurred using the camera blur function. You set the keyframe on naught at the beginning and then as I'm moving in, in towards it, I turn this uh, camera blur up to 11. Now if I turn on the layer below and you'll see it as it is in the piece, uh, you can see basically we're going from a blurred shot with a massive vignette around it um, and we're slightly moving in on it too, we're zooming in on it too and then we go to sharp focus. So, and I've got some other effects on here. If I turn them all off, you can then see what I've done is to match this shot, because I've, I've slanted the shot onto one side. Uh, I basically did that to make uh, the audience feel like something's going on psychologically in DJ's mind. Uh, so obviously if you've watched the film, then this whole section is going on inside his head. So I've done the canted angle for that reason. I've actually brought the opacity down to 48 and then I'm I'm bringing the opacity up to 100%. Then I add magic bullet looks. Essentially this particular one adds a lens distortion. That basically brings in even more a sort of uh, fisheye effect. So you can see that there sort of warping things. Um, I add another uh, magic bullet looks and if I go into that I've got this vignette which basically then puts this harsh vignette on everything and then I've got the camera blur so the camera blur starts on blurred 11 11 uh, percent blurred and then I actually have this keyframe so if I move through the footage I move to it being sharp focus as I move in and that whole effect makes you feel like you're actually moving your eye up to a peephole and then looking through the peephole and it has a sort of almost like a 3D effect to it. Okay, so I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Please give us a like, share, and subscribe to my channel for other videos. So this is Ben Simon for Media Brighton TV. You've been watching the Premiere Pro tutorial peephole effect. Thanks for watching. I have a completely free ebook for you. It's five essentials to indie filmmaking, my special tips to make a more professional production. So just click on the link below this video and your details and I'll send you that completely free. Thanks for watching.